guys welcome back to our channel so today is a little bit of a different video for me what I wanted to do is start reviewing some makeup brands and we thought it would be fun to start a series where once a month we do a full face using only one brand of makeup so I am a girl who absolutely loves makeup and I buy all different products from all different brands and a few weeks ago I had a friend who started selling Mary Kay and she was explaining how all of the products that Mary Kay makes are made to work together. And I thought that's probably how all the brands are. I'm assuming that every brand makes their products to work with each other. So I just thought it would be fun to do an entire face using only one brand of makeup. We are going to make this a series, so we're gonna do it at the last Thursday of every month. We're gonna do one brand once a month. So this, month's brand is Glossier. Now I have been hearing about Glossier for years and I've wanted to try them for so long and I, I just never did. Uh, there's no place close to me that actually sells Glossier so I would have to order everything online and I know you know the colors and all those things are kind of iffy when you buy online but you know what I broke through I did it I got an entire face of Glossier makeup and we're gonna go through everything that we got we're gonna put it on we're gonna see how it wears and we're just gonna do a little review at the end and at the end there is also going to be a giveaway of one of the Glossier products make sure that you stay tuned till the end to find out how you can register to win a Glossier product all right everyone so here is how the products came very cute little box the packaging is pink there is this in there I'm assuming this is a sticker I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with that but and then the products come in these little pink bags so in this first bag we have the perfecting sheer tint and we also have the glossier stretch concealer and in our second bag of goodies here, we have the Lid Star Eyeshadow in Fawn. We also have the Lid Star Eyeshadow in Slip. We have the Glossier. Cloud Paint Cheek Color, and I got this in Dawn. I got, the whole reason I wanted to try Glossier, because I've heard about this product for years, the Glossier Boy Brow, and I got this in brown as well. I got the Generation Sheer Matte Lipstick in the color Zip. And one of their next most famous items is the Lash Slick. Um, I don't think it's actually a mascara, but we'll call it a mascara for namesake. And I got that in black. And we got a second one for a giveaway. All right, so the first item that we have is the Perfecting Skin Tint Sheer Skin Enhancer. I got mine in color G9. It was $26. The second item that I purchased was the Stretch Concealer Undetectable Flexible Coverage. I also got that in G9 and that was $18. The next item I purchased is the Lid Star Glistening Eyeshadow. I got one color in Fawn and one color in Slip and those were $18 each. The next item I purchased was Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color. I bought that in Dawn and that was $18. The next item I purchased was the Glossier Boy Brow Grooming Pomade. I got that in the color brown and that was $16. The next item I purchased was the Generation G Sheer Matte Lipstick. 
I got mine in the color zip and that was $18. And then the last item I purchased was the Lash Slick Film Form Mascara and that was $16. And I also purchased one as a giveaway. All right, you guys, let's get started. So we're gonna start with the Perfecting Skin Tint. It's hard to pick a color just online. So I'm hoping that this is a good match for me. It does appear to be. Um, and again, I'm just thinking that these are going to be very sheer, so we'll see how this works. Um, it says shake, then smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips. Blend upward and outward for sheer coverage and instant dewiness. Okay, so no beauty blender, no brushes, strictly fingertips. We'll see how this goes on. Just gonna squirt some out here to my hand. Just about that much is all I have right now. It is very wet to go on. And I could tell I did not put near enough on. So let me just squirt a little bit more out here. And again, you guys, I'm not expecting like this full coverage foundation from a brand called Glossier. I am expecting it to be very sheer, very kind of dewy looking. I'm gonna put it over my eyes. Okay, so I actually really like this, the way that it has gone on. It seems very smooth. It doesn't look like I have a ton of makeup on. Um, I think it's evened out my complexion pretty well. Um, it's certainly not a full coverage foundation, but yeah, I think it's gone on pretty well. Okay, thumbs up for the sheer tint foundation. The next product is the Stretch Concealer. I'm not entirely sure what the stretch is in Stretch Concealer, but I guess we will find out. I did get this in the exact same shade as I bought the foundation in. I did not go a shade lighter um, because I did want to be able to use it to cover some spots. Which it uh, seems to do pretty well. It's not a really thick concealer. Maybe that's what they mean by stretch. But I had a couple of spots on my chin that I feel like it's covered pretty well. I am just gonna put some on my chin because it is very red. I work as a nurse and so I'm wearing a mask like 24 seven basically. And I can see on my face where the mask sits for the 13 hours I'm at work that um, I'm starting to have some skin issues there. I'm just gonna tap my finger into this a little bit and then I'm just gonna go under my eyes. It is such a rainy, dreary day outside, you guys. If you could see how dark it was outside, you wouldn't think it was daytime. happy with this as well I wasn't too sure because like I said I figured with a brand called Glossier that everything would be very sheer very dewy and um, that you wouldn't have a lot of coverage with their products but I am happy to admit that I appear to be wrong because this seems to be really really nice concealer of course we'll see how it wears throughout the day so our next product 
is the whole reason that I actually wanted to try Glossier. I'd heard so much about this product over the years, and it is the Boy Brow. Um, I got this in brown, and let's see how this goes on. This has been all over the YouTube for so long. I've just never really tried it before. I love their, their packaging. It's very nice. And this is how the brush looks. It's very small. It seems to be very sturdy. It's certainly not a flimsy brush. So let's uh, just get to going. So I like to sort of get the front of my brows first and then back comb the gel in. It's a little trick I learned a few years ago. It makes your brows look a little fluffier and a little less um, polished, I guess, which is the look that I really like. I like for my brows to look a little more wild, if that's appropriate, I guess. All right, so that is one coat with the boy brow. Um, I do use the Benefit Brow Tint, and I usually do it a couple of times. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm just going to go through it one more time. Just back combing. And then brushing it all into place. All right, you guys. There you go. Um, I like this brow. I'm not sh sure if it was just me or the product. I feel like I got a little bit of it kind of outside of the brow area, but I can clean that up. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, again, I'm just gonna go through that one more time. Even though I highlight my hair, my brows are still very dark. I'm just gonna brush them into place. there you go I think that looks pretty good it still looks very natural it doesn't look like you've just you know drawn two sharpies on your head so yeah I would give the boy brow a definite thumbs up for this the next product I have to admit I'm a little bit scared to try it is the cloud paint seamless cheek color I got this in dawn I've seen this product used on different YouTube videos and I'm not entirely sure how it's supposed to go on. For best results, apply with fingertips. Gently squeeze a tiny dot onto finger and blend onto cheek. As Add more as you wish. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. This looks very pigmented in the tube anyway. I'm hoping it's not that pigmented, but we will find out. I'm just gonna dab. Ooh, that came out super fast. So I'm going to wipe some of that off and uh, I guess we'll just start dabbing it on and see how it works. So definitely a learning curve on uh, getting this out of the tube, that's for certain. I'd say the color is pretty though. I feel like I just wasted a ton of it. So it is very easy to blend, which I'm happy about. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear the rain hitting the windows. Like I said, it was an ugly day out here today. 
So it's definitely a pretty color, I think. I think it blended out pretty easily. I would be careful because that is how much is left on my finger, just from a little squirt to get started. So definitely be careful on squirting that stuff out. Just wipe that off. Yeah, I think it's a nice color. It blended well. I'm happy with that color. I do feel like I got just a little much here on the front and I'm not sure. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna go in with a tad of the foundation and see if I can't blend that out just a hair. So I'm just got that much on my hand. I'm just gonna see if we can't blend this out some. a little better so yeah for the cloud paint I think it's nice it's a nice color like I said it blends very easily just be extremely careful about squirting this out because a lot will come out in the of the tube and you only need a very very little bit all right next up are eyeshadows so I did buy two separate eyeshadows. I bought one called Fawn and one called Slip. I wasn't sure which one I would like the best. Um, I think one of them is kind of a bluish purplish color if I'm remembering correctly. And the other one was kind of a brown color. So this is, which one is this one? This is Slip. Here's what it looks like in the tube. And I'm not even sure how this opens. Oh, it comes, it comes out in like a doe foot. So that's what it looks like. And let's, let me see the other color first before I decide which one I'm gonna put on first. I may put both of them on, you just never know. Yes, this is the brown one. This is called Fawn. This is what it looks like in the tube. And with the doe foot. So again, you guys, I'm not expecting these to be super pigmented, but I was surprised with the cheek color. So I'm actually gonna test this out on the back of my hand first. Um, that's what it's looking like. I think it is gonna be easy to blend. Let's try the other one. Yeah, I think they will be easy to blend out. The second one is fairly light. So I think I'm gonna go in with the darker one first and kind of put it in my crease and we'll see how this looks. I'm kind of scared because it does look so dark. And I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of blend it out. Oh wow, you guys, this does blend like almost into nothingness. But it's very pretty. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's blended out so easily. Like this is almost mistake proof eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna go in with a little more on the other eye. This is such a pretty color. Like I just wanna, for some reason I just wanna keep putting more on. It is blending out very easily though, so that's that's a good good thing. I feel like this stuff is kind of drying kind of quickly though, so I feel like you need to, to work with it pretty quickly so it doesn't just dry into place. But that color is really pretty. And again, that's the fawn. 
And I'm going to go in and just put the slip on my lid. And then dab it out with my fingers. So that pretty much dabbed away to nothing. The texture feels really nice. It's very creamy. It dries very quickly to a powder. If you can see that with the slip on with the fawn. I think the colors look nice. And it may just be that I'm not used to the sheerness of this makeup brand that I feel like I'm having to put a little bit more on. I suppose if you did not wear a ton of makeup, you weren't used to having like a lot of color on your eyes, this would probably be perfect for you. I do think it's very pretty though. And it, it, it blends so easily. That's what's really nice about this. It just blends super easily. You can see the, the slip with fawn. So yeah, I like that. I feel like I got a little more on one eye than I did on the other. All right. So next up is the Lash Slick. I've also heard a lot about this one. If any of you watch Estee Lalonde's videos, she's always talking about wearing the Lash Slick from Glossier. Um, I'm excited to try this out and see exactly how it works. I, since this is a totally one brand face, I am not going to use another brand's lash curler to curl my lashes. I'm just gonna go straight in with the Lash Slick and we're gonna see how this works. Um, I'm curious to see if it's going to transfer to the hoods of my eyes or if it's going to transfer underneath my eyes as the day wears on kind of excited to see how that lasts so here is the brush and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and put this on i and to understand that this really isn't like an actual mascara that this is supposed to be more kind of like a a tint on your lashes that it's not really supposed to look like you're wearing a ton of mascara. And I have extremely short kind of little twigs for lashes. So I would normally actually wear false lashes if I were going out somewhere. So, but we're not gonna do that today because this is a one brand face. All right, you guys, so that is with one coat. It does look very natural. It's, it's probably hard to see on my eyes because like I said, my lashes are very, very short and very kind of twig. They just stick straight out. I'm gonna go in and put in a second coat. like the way this mascara looks I'm just curious to see how it's going to wear as the day goes on 
And that is also the Lash Slick is our free giveaway. So whoever the winner is of this giveaway is going to get a free Glossier Lash Slick in black. All right, our last product is Generation Sheer Matte Lipstick. Um, I don't generally wear matte lipsticks just because I find them to be very drying. But with, again, a brand named Glossier, when I'm expecting everything to be very sheer and sort of dewy, I am kind of curious to try this out. Um, I did get this in the color Zip. So let's see how this looks. Oh, it looks gorgeous in the tube. Um, I do have a little bit of lip balm on. Let me just dot that off. Okay. I'm just gonna put it on straight from the bullet. Sheer matte, I'm not even really sure what that means. So first of all, I love this color. And the formula does not feel drying at all. It almost, it almost feels kind of like a balm. Like it's something that you would actually just put on your lips like before you go to bed or something. So that I like. I'm just, I'm still trying to determine is this truly matte? I mean, I guess there isn't a shine. It doesn't have like a gloss look to it. It's just when I think of a matte lipstick, I think of something just very, very matte. And I don't know that this really is that. But whatever it is, I really like it. I love the color. I love how it goes on. I love the formula and I just got some on the container. I really like this lipstick. This is could be probably my favorite item that I purchased. Um, I think I will definitely be wearing this one a lot. So, okay, you guys, we are going to go on about our day. We're going to wear this all day. We're going to see how it wears. We're going to see how the foundation and the concealer, if it creases, if it starts oxidizing, um, what kind of happens with all that. I am curious to see if the lash slick is going to transfer to the hoods of my eyes or under my eyes. And we will even see how the lipstick wears through meals and eating and, you know, kissing my husband and all those kinds of things. So uh, we'll check in with you guys a little bit later. It is approximately 1045 in the morning. Uh, so we'll check in with you guys a little bit later tonight and see how it all works out. Be back a little bit. All right, everybody, we are back. So we have had lunch. We went to dinner. Um, it is still pouring rain outside. Um, so it's been kind of an eventful day. We went to see my mom and you know, just kind of ran some errands. I have not touched up the makeup at all today, as you can tell. The lipstick, I don't know if it kind of puts a stain on your lips, if you can see. I haven't touched up the lipstick. You can't really tell that I'm wearing it. But there is still some color left, which is a little weird. So I'm not sure if it's kind of working as a stain on your lips or maybe it just really does wear very well. The slip eyeshadow has definitely creased throughout the day. Um, I actually can't even really see if it's on there or not. But the mascara did not transfer. It hasn't transferred to the hoods of my eyes. It hasn't transferred under my eyes. The foundation seems to have worn pretty well um the concealer that i put on my chin it hasn't separated it hasn't oxidized um i don't really see any of the makeup like settling into pores or fine lines like around the eye area so all in all i would give this makeup a thumbs up um i'm i'm definitely glad that i bought it i will definitely wear it again especially this lipstick i am absolutely loving it um, so all of the products will be listed in the description below and if you watch the whole video you notice that at one point there was a code word that went across the screen.
The first person to comment the code word is going to win the Glossier Lash Slick. We will be in touch with you by DM. So the first person that comments the code word down below will win the Glossier Lash Slick. I wish all of you luck. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Comment down below which brand you would like for me to review next. And we will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.